Well, another first for oil spills in the ocean. The state of Texas is trying what's called a fire boom. It's not all that environmentally friendly, but it is the fastest way to get rid of oil on the surface of water. KXN's Josh Hinkle discovered why state officials know so much about this proven method. After a series of pipeline ruptures 16 years ago, this was the scene blazing across the surface of the San Jacinto River outside of Houston. A newly developed device called a fire boom gave Texas a quick response and helped prevent further disaster. Now the state is sending fire booms Louisiana's way, not knowing if they'll work on the water there. We don't have any experience burning oil at sea. In fact, no one in the United States has any personal experience doing that because it's never been done in U.S. waters. Texas is the only state in the U.S. that has fire booms. Its donation of 1,000 feet of the product is costly at $100 a foot. It works almost like a net pulled by boats. You gather the, the oil in the apex of the boom, get it to a sufficient thickness, and then you light it off. In most cases, it has at least a 90% success rate for gathering the oil on the surface. The state's oil spill prevention and response office isn't sure that number will be so high in the Gulf. They haven't been used yet because the sea conditions have been so rough that they haven't been able to deploy those offshore. As Texas tries to gather what's on top, other crews worry about collecting more than 200,000 gallons of oil spilling out of the ocean floor each day. If that doesn't work, it could take two or three months to drill a relief well. Texas was also the first to use buoys to track ocean currents in the U.S. With 15 years of experience and nine buoys off the coast, we can tell if that overflow of oil will reach the Lone Star State with at least three days' notice. In the summertime, tend to go up coast, that is flow from Texas towards Louisiana. The buoys can also provide an indication of when the waves will settle enough for the fire boom experiment. If they pull this off, it'll be, it'll be quite an accomplishment. Now, Texas is also sending two huge trucks tomorrow morning, most likely to the Biloxi, Mississippi area. They're in LaPorte, Texas right now. Now, these are designed as spaces to clean and house birds affected by the oil spill. Live in the studio, Josh Hinkle, KXAN, Austin News. And